Hello, welcome to this uh, lecture video. So today, our topic is still on mathematical groups. So I am teacher Melai. So these are the methods presented in the previous video. But in this video, we are going to just to consider proof by specialization and division into cases. So when do we use this type of uh, proof? So we use this with some common situations. So we use cases. So as much as possible, we try to, we have, or rather we must exhaust all possible, all possibilities of the value of our object X. So just like for instance here, when the, the hypothesis is N is an integer, so it is not indicated whether it is an odd or even integer, then we have to consider two cases. That is case one, what if n is an even in integer? While in case two, what if, is, if n is an odd integer? Similarly, when we have, when the hypothesis is m and n or integers, again, it is not indicated here whether it is an odd or even, then we have still to consider two cases that m and n or even or m is even and n is odd. Of course, we uh, the, we don't end there because of, we still have other more possible cases like what if M is odd, N is even, and M and N are both odd. So we have to uh, show these different cases. So we have cases one, two, three, and four. So when the, the hypothesis is x is a real number so it is not indicated here that either it is irrational or irrational real number then you again still to consider two cases like for case one we have x is irrational and case two x is irrational while if uh, um, the hypothesis is x is a real number we can also say that what if x is equal to zero, x is not equal to zero, or case one is what if x is greater than zero, x is equal to zero, or x is less than zero. Actually for case two, where it is x is not equal to zero, you still need to show what if it is greater than zero or less than zero. So we have actually either two cases, but you still need to show it in x is not equal to zero, or you can just split it into three, case one, two, and b. So when the hypothesis is a and b are real numbers, so similar with the previous hypothesis, we again need to consider what if a is equal to b or a is not equal to b. If it is not equal to B, it can be that A is greater than B or A is less than B. Okay, so this is all for this video. Thank you for watching.